Hello, everyone. Uh, firstly, apologies that um, I probably look a little bit um, awful. <laughs> it is uh, midnight here in Germany. I'm at Berlinale. Um, but I now that I know what's going on, I know I needed to give an update because I know a lot of people have been waiting for an update for quite some time. And I didn't really want anyone to wait any longer. Um, so... <laughs> Despite being in the middle of the night and me kind of having almost been asleep, I've woken back up and just want to leave this message for everyone. Um, obviously, we came on board with Coming Out for Love and we're really excited to be part of the US's first ever lesbian reality dating show. We'd seen um, some early cuts of the first couple of episodes and it looked really interesting, looked really good. Uh, the sneak peek trailer looked fantastic. And so we were really excited to be on board and helping to deliver it through a quality platform um, to the audience um, because we thought it was exactly the kind of content that we, you know, put out to our customers. Um, unfortunately, I think, you know, there's been um, a number of issues around delivery of product. Um, and I think really just it's been come apparent um, from both sides. And we finally heard from the producers that they have decided they want to release in a different way. Um, so first of all, apologies. I haven't been able to say anything because I haven't know what's going on. Um, this is the first that I've been made aware of exactly what the next steps are. I'm I'm very aware that we've been receiving lots of messages from people who've obviously parted with money, um, expecting to have access to the show. Um, and obviously when we put the landing page up and released the bundles, it was in agreement with the producers um, that they were delivering through us. And so unfortunately, as soon as we knew that things weren't being delivered on the 14th. We updated a message, but all we've been able to do is a holding message because we just didn't know. Um, we've been unable to get hold of anyone in the production company. And so I'm very sorry because I pride myself on authenticity, honesty, communication, and it's been literally killing me for, since the release to know that I've not been able to communicate with anyone to alleviate any concerns about the fact that you've paid for content and not been able to get it. So um, wholeheartedly, I am so sorry for that. It's completely out of our control. Um, anything we release on lesfix normally we license the content is delivered to us at least two weeks in advance and then we release it with our team and that is why our content is always released so seamlessly uh so well promoted um with this because it's a different uh format it's a tv series we work in a different way um everything was with the producers and we were simply signing off and checking that everything was okay once it was ready to go live on the platform and it obviously never got delivered which meant that we couldn't sign off but it also meant I couldn't communicate with you because I just didn't know what was going on. So very sorry about that. We are literally, um, now that we've heard, um, we are going to go through and refund everyone's money. So everyone will be receiving a full refund. I implore and beg you, please do not raise a transaction um, request for your bank as a, as a complaint because financially, Lesflix will receive a £50 fine for that um we will be out of pocket and i can wholeheartedly say this is not down to the non-delivery is not down to us and so i just don't want like you know i implore you as a you know startup business who've i've put my life my soul into lesfix for the last two and a half years working 60 plus hours a week and i'm really proud of the product i've delivered um and i don't want this project to bankrupt me so I beg of you, if you're not happy, please just wait. The refund will come through. Um, we do understand that obviously a lot of people are very anxious. You know, some people have parted with just a small amount of money, others with a lot. Um, and just know that we now that we have been given the go ahead to refund, we will be doing so. In relation to updates on the show, I have absolutely no idea what the next stages are for the show. It, as I say, it's not our show. Um, you will need to go um, to the producers and to the people that own the show. Um, the best way, I think, to get hold of them is probably Instagram, coming out for love underscore show. Um, and their DMs are probably open, so you can just message them there um, because we just have no further communication on that now um, and that project has ended. We're going to go back to releasing the quality content that we've been working on, the weekly releases, um, and doing what we do best, which is finding authentic sapphic stories that we believe you as an audience love, and we will continue to curate those. We're at European Film Market right now. We've got some fantastic meetings. We had one today with a amazing filmmaker who made a fantastic um short film called sarah uh interestingly um it's a male director he had his script that wasn't signed off and greenlit by the uh college he was at the film school and so he was given a choice of scripts he found a script 
he interviewed lots of people were cast in a uh, crew uh, and no men turned up and actually that was probably the best thing that could have happened for that film because it meant he went to his casting director and said well what should we do we have so many talented women and so they changed the script and made it a sapphic strip script so um it's a really good story. And actually, having talked to the director today, this is what I love doing, meeting the directors and hearing their stories. It was really, really interesting to hear how this came about. And the fact that, you could, you know, it is just a story and that you were able to swap out the gender and it didn't change anything. And I think really does show as well that you can get some really fantastic things come out of unusual circumstances. Um, the entire film uh, is... Uh, filmed in one room um and is definitely interesting it's a bit of a sci-fi kind of um short so very exciting so hopefully that'll come through very shortly uh we're also meeting all day tomorrow with lots more producers sales agents distributors we've also got films in the pipeline um we're going to be releasing some really good um archive stuff from a couple of filmmakers um and also lots of new stuff so i'm not too worried about the future as long as um we can just obviously make sure that our customers understand that this is not how we do business and we are really sorry for any um, upset or concern that has come out of this project. We've certainly learned a lot um, and we'll be making sure going forward that communication is far better where we're working with third parties. Um, but we're just really grateful, I guess, to be able to finally tell people what's going on and be able to move forward from this so thank you to everyone for being so patient obviously we did immediately as soon as we could put out a holding message and we will now be messaging everyone and letting them know that we will be sending out refunds um and hopefully you know this will not impact the fact that you still love lesflix because we are delivering quality content uh, by the end of february we'll have 280 titles securing us as by far the biggest sapphic streaming platform in the world uh i'm proud to say that this is the only client we've not been able to keep. Um, and it's just because we have very, very different working styles, very different communication methods and very different delivery um, delivery points, I think. Um, but actually, aside from that, we've never lost a film. We've never lost a client. And we pride ourselves on the fact that we pay our clients fairly for their work and you get quality content in response. And that will continue. So I hope that you will continue to support us um, and forgive us for trying something different and it not working out. Um, the one thing I would say is the Lesflix came out of wanting to disrupt a broken distribution system. And we are always innovating and trying new things. And this was one of the things we tried and it didn't work. But it doesn't mean we're not open to trying other new things. And we will continue to try to innovate for the better of the sapphic community um, and for those sapphic stories and those content creators. So we thank each and every one of you for your support. We look forward to what is still Year of the Sapphic. We have so much planned for this year. There are some fantastic content being made. And we're excited for the rest of the year. Um, and this actually frees up 16 weeks worth of my headspace. So I'm excited to see what we can do um, and deliver some of the other projects that we've got underway. In fact, on that note, head on over to our YouTube channel. We have just premiered the um, trailer for our first ever project that we've helped with investment um, and funding and strategy on, Love Me Lex. Really fantastic Australian web series, 40-year-old um, single mum, dips back into the dating pool. Really funny, really good. Um, so the trailer's just dropped. Check it out. It's a fantastic series. It got Screen Australia um, funding, which I'm really proud of, that this is the first project. Um, I collaborated with uh, Karen uh, Frost, who I work with on Sapphic Investment Film Fund. And we um, did a call out asking for projects who were interested in being funded. Love Me Lex um, writer and director, Sanya Katik, reached out to us and so we jumped in on that project and oh my god the project has ballooned from a very small project to a much bigger project with the screen australia funding coming in um and it's just going into festivals and will be coming to the platform and out to you all as soon as possible but do check out the trailer if you like the content like this then share it you know we, we're constantly looking to deliver you more content so this is a little blip but you know not to worry, we're still going to keep looking for content. We're going to still keep collaborating, still keep creating new content and promoting the content we find that, you know, has the same values, aims, that has the authenticity we know you as a customer desire. Um, and I just want to say 
we're sorry this didn't work out um, and we look forward to continuing to deliver top quality products to you. Thank you very much. I am going to go to bed now um, because I've got a full day of meetings tomorrow with content producers and the like. Um, oh, also, we are here. While we are here, Shamim Sharif, uh, one of our clients from I Can't Think Straight, her new feature has been finished. She filmed it over in Canada while she's been doing fantastic stuff. She's been directing episodes of You on Netflix along with a whole load of other projects. Her newest feature film polarized is also premiering at afm so keep an eye out for that do follow them we're super proud actually we're meeting up with several of our clients while we're here and it's actually really nice because we launched right before the pandemic and so we haven't seen most of our clients face to face uh, so look forward to lots more good things happening because everything's going so well at the moment for us um this is one tiny blip but other than that we are we are going places and we are bringing every single sapphic creator we can with them with us so thank you so much and we will see you all soon if anyone does have any concerns or any questions please do uh, drop me an email or drop a live chat on any of our channels uh, we really you know open communication is important to us and we do value every one of our customers so if you're concerned or have any questions do reach out to us. But thank you very much. And um, again, we're sorry, but onwards and upwards.